Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy. Bienvenidos a mi canal de nuevo. Mi nombre es Wendy and this is the Becerra family. They were going to be doing a little mukbang mukbang moment from Wingstop. Aquí tenemos unas alitas bien ricas de Wingstop. I got um, mango habanero boneless and then I got um, Louisiana rough bone in. Eso está haciendo agua la boca. And then we also got some corn. These corns are fire. If you guys haven't tried the Cajun corns from Wingstop, you gotta go right now. And their ranches. And the fries are no pues todo está bien rico. My face is a little bit red because I just got a facial today. So excuse my redness. But let's eat. If you guys don't like the videos where people are eating in front of you, si no les gusta. Sorry, my mouth is so watery. Los videos donde la gente come enfrente de ustedes, pues sorry, porque así va a ser el video. Voy a estar comiendo y hablando. Mm. It's so good. Se les va a antojar unas solitas, seguro. Vayan a ordenar unas, pónganse. Antes de... Empezar el video, vayan a comprar sus salitas para que coman conmigo. No les vaya a salir un grano en la boca. <risa> Quiero hablar sobre algo que me están pregunte, 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 pregunte. No me estuvieran preguntando tanto, les juro que no, este video, este video no existiera. I've been getting this question like crazy, almost for a month now. I'm not even kidding you, for a month. And... I blame my sister for this, which I kind of get why you guys would ask this question a lot because my sister kind of hinted it. So the question is, am I pregnant? Baby number three on the way. If I'm craving food, if that I'm gaining weight, am I hiding a pregnancy? I've gotten so many questions in regard to that. First and foremost, I want to say that it is not nice to ask somebody if they're pregnant if that person has not publicly announced that they're pregnant. With that being said, I am not pregnant. Not pregnant. <laughs> okay, now that that's out and cleared out, I am not pregnant, nor will I be soon pregnant. I am on birth control guys. I have the IUD and I do know that some people have gotten pregnant with being on the birth control but I've had this birth control for two years already and I had it before after I had Emma. I had the Morena for five years and then I got the next one on but whatever. So I am on the Morena. I am on the IUD and it's worked for already two and a half years so I have not gotten pregnant in two and a half years and yeah. And I know that you guys probably thought I was trying to hide it. Like, at first I was like, am I getting that fat that people think I'm pregnant? Like, I didn't understand why people kept asking me if I was pregnant. I had to, like, go on Instagram and tell people I'm not pregnant. And then this girl, a couple people were like, I thought you were pregnant for this and this and reason and another person said the same thing and then a couple people are like I thought you were pregnant because of this and that and I was like all right so then once they told me that it kind of made sense why they would think that I was pregnant or why some little like clues would hint at that so um let me just make it clear so my sister is so tired of being pregnant she still is pregnant she's so tired of being pregnant that when she first got pregnant, I gave her all my maternity clothes that I had from when I was pregnant with Noah. I gave it to her. I was like, here, you know, maternity clothes is expensive. It's not really worth buying. Um, so I gave her all the ones I had because I was saving it for when I got pregnant again. I was like, let me just give it to my sister. She could use it whenever she doesn't want it. She could give it back to me, whatever. So recently, my sister made a, um, a vlog and she was packing away all her maternity clothes. And she said that she was giving it to me but so that kind of made it seem like why does she need pregnancy clothes like she's not even pregnant so people started thinking like oh she might be pregnant maybe she's gonna get pregnant soon blah blah
then I was like, okay. When I got back from Miami, a big bag, big, huge trash bag filled with maternity clothes was already inside my car because my sister had put it there. And the second clue that people thought I was pregnant was because we went to Quinceañera, it was Rogelio's niece's Quinceañera, and they were going around giving people shots from the tequila bottle or whatever it was, like straight from the bottle. I had Noah sitting on my lap, so when they came around asking if I wanted some, they were like, oh, drink it, drink it. I was like, no, no. And it's not because I'm pregnant, it's just that I won't do that in front of my kids, guys. I don't drink like that in front of my kids. I will have a drink here and there from a cup, like a mixed drink. I'll have a michelada, blah, blah, blah. But you won't ever see me like downing from a bottle, especially in front of my kids. My kids aren't around, maybe that's a different story, but if my kids are there, I personally won't do it. I can't speak for Joseph. If he wants to do it, he could do it. I'm not his mom. But me personally, I won't do that in front of my kids just out of respect for them and so like you know as an example but But yeah, with those two clues, people like automatically were like, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. I'm like, I didn't see it at first, but now I'm like, all right, you know, with those two kind of like her giving me the pregnancy clothes and me not wanting to drink alcohol, but nobody, they didn't, what they didn't see is that I was drinking like a michelada was right in front of me, but you couldn't see it in the video, in that part. But anyways, I definitely do want one baby maybe 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 two more kids and me and joseph already talked about this and having a baby is not just like oh fun let's the baby let's feed it let's change it really cute let's dress it up no guys having a baby is a lot of responsibility it is a lot of work it is a lot of lack of sleep it is a lot of money and stress but they are a blessing and they are a gift from God and I do want two more, one more or two more blessings, okay? And if it was up to Joseph, I would probably already have 10 kids by now. Joseph wants to have more kids and I'm the one that's kind of like, no, because you know, I'm the one taking care of them at the end of the day. He goes to work, I stay behind that. It's not that easy. They make it look very easy on Instagram and they make it look like moms just just go back and snap back guys look i'm not pregnant but i have the mommy pouch that makes me look pregnant a lot of people after they have kids get this especially especially if you've had a c-section i had both i had natural birth and then i had a c-section with noah so when you do have a c-section that mommy pouch is a little bit harder to get rid of so it looks like we're like three months pregnant all the time <laughs> And yeah, can we just like normalize mom pouches and normalize mom bots? Not everybody can get a BBL and the mommy makeover and all that stuff. Not all of us have no money. Maybe one day I will, who knows, in a couple years from now. But as of now, obviously I won't get one because I still want more kids. So why would I spend so much money for it to just kind of get ruined if I want more kids, you know? So I'm going to wait till I'm done having kids and then visit that um, that again to see if I do want a mommy makeover now. But can we just normalize having mom bods? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, guys, our bodies, women's bodies are amazing. They go through craziness while being pregnant and then pushing out a baby or having cut, getting cut open. Regardless of how you have your baby, you have a baby from your stomach. Like, they bring this natural 
living thing out of you and it's just amazing to me so um i know social media puts a lot of pressure on us women that we need to step back that we need to look and lose all the baby weight right as soon as the baby's born the second that it comes out of you you need to look like you were nine months ago like that's crazy guys i have very long recovery that does take me the whole 40 days to fully feel kind of normal and also i have very traumatic birth stories and very huge babies that i will talk about that in another video but emma was 8.5 pounds and all was 9.5 pounds i have huge babies and i'm kind of small i'm five feet and right now I'm like 130, but when I was pregnant with them, I was 99 pounds, guys. That's crazy. It's just amazing what the human body can do. Advocating for a lot of us women that a lot of us get put put down in social media, especially being like um, putting ourselves out there. You get, and not a lot of people are like, well, you put yourself out there. I'm like, yeah, I know, but. You don't have to be cruel, you don't have to be mean, you know, like, we're all still human at the end of the day. But honestly, I did want to have a baby this year. But, you know, my sister's pregnant right now. It's her first baby. I already got two. I can wait, you know. What's a couple more months? I wanted to have a baby this year because um, Noah's already two and a half. And I didn't want to have such a big gap like how Emma and Noah have. Emma and Noah are seven years apart. So I don't want such a huge gap within the next baby. Plus it feels like you're just starting all over again. So I did want to have a baby this year, but my sister got pregnant. So I wanted her to experience it all, like um, get all the attention and all that stuff. And I could wait. Um, maybe at the end of this year we'll get pregnant or um, at the beginning of next year we do want a baby for sure but um it's nothing that i want to hide from you guys you guys already have two kids why would i hide a third kid there's no reason for me to hide a third pregnancy um i'm married i already got two kids i don't need to be hiding a pregnancy actually i do want to take you guys along with me in the journey of wanting to have a baby getting rid of the birth control how my body is because when i got pregnant with noah and i took off my birth control it took me six months to get pregnant not everybody gets pregnant as soon as they want to like oh, i want to get pregnant oh you're pregnant like no some people take some takes them a little bit longer so i want you guys to come on that journey with me and kind of like when I go get my birth control, all, all that stuff. It's not just gonna be like, hey, I'm pregnant. I wanna take you guys on that journey with me. So yeah. So I just wanted for you guys to come here on the Wendy show, talk with me, um, just like talk a little bit about having babies and all that stuff is not like i said it's not just fun and games they are a blessing from god but they also are expensive and very stressful and annoying at times let's be honest they are so annoying sometimes but we love them and i wouldn't change anything in the world being a mom is the best thing ha has ever ever happened to me period his wings are bomb I gotta go, alright? Thank you guys for coming. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon.